It's that time again. Hello, good evening, and welcome to part eight of our Deathless Randomizer series. We are back in the lands between. <clears throat> we are currently in Landell. Uh, over the course of last night, we basically had a fresh character. We got to like Torrent and stopped. So over the course of last night, we got our Stormhawk Axe to plus ten. Got all four talisman slots, infinite crab, some heavy fucking armor, man. And we're currently working with uh, Godric's Great Rune and this stat layout. <clears throat> um, we got a lot done yesterday. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, we, as you can see above, found four Great Runes, two of which dropped from the same boss when we killed Renala. Um, we got two great runes from Renala, uh, but we cleared all of Limgrave and Weeping, including uh, Castle Morn. We cleared uh, all of Liernia key item checks. We cleared uh, uh, all of Kaled key item checks and Radon. And we cleared all of Altus up to Lane Dell. So that is where we are at tonight. So we, we made some significant progress yesterday. Um, yeah, we do have a plus 10 Stormhawk, which has been absolutely stellar. It does such a great job against <clears throat> most enemies. Uh, even these. Oh, shit. I actually want to fight you. You're, you're near a ledge. I don't like that. Go away. Shoot. Um... Yeah, we have a we made a ton of progress yesterday, so we are back at it again tonight. Uh, the goal tonight is to find the rolled medallion. We do not have access to mountaintops of the giants. Uh, oh, and my physic has uh, max HP and all damage negation reduction. If I find like stamina regen tier or something, we'll use that instead of max HP. Sneakiest man. Yo, what the dog do? Oh, sparkly eyes, imp. Isn't that exciting? This is 2,800 runes. Love to see it. Lightning ram. Ah, sorry, we already have thunderstorm. Oh dear. Excuse you. It's very rude. Uh, I think we're just going and jumping. We're not, I ain't fucking around with none of this. Get me out of here. We're going on the rooftops. Alright, uh, we got a sword made in. Oh, shit. Okay. We out of there. Should have drank my physic. I keep forgetting to do that. It's a habit that you really should get into, especially if you're doing just like a casual run. If you have good grasp over the map and you know like you're just going from objective to objective, just use your physic. Use it all the time. It's just free stats. Or free damage or whatever it is you've slotted into it. Like, it recharges as soon as you rest. Fat cash. Nice. Big money. No whammies. And honestly, even if you're not, like, unless you're in a completely brand new area, like in the DLC or something, and you're like, I don't know when I'm going to run to a boss, so I'll just not use my physic. Like, I understand that. Like, having your physic for the boss is much more important than just randomly running around. I get that. But... Elsewise... Just fucking send it, chef. Now we do so much damage, even without the Stormhawk's lightning buff. Kind of absurd. Oh, 
Also, uh, <clears throat> I figured out. Maybe not. I don't. I can't say figured out. I was watching somebody else do a run, a randomizer, and <clears throat> found out the way that you're supposed to get to the um, that one key item check in Mogwin Mausoleum. It's like above the the walkway before the cave at the second grace. Uh, apparently, you go up through to the second grace, and there's like a ledge that you can jump down onto from there. So. I now have that knowledge in my brain space, which is really cool. Damn. Outplayed. You hate to see it. Alright, what do we got over here? What is going on there? Some bats? A uh, little ding ding guy and Rick. Okay. Uh, speaking of Rick, the reason we're so busted right now is because we got absolutely fucking fed in Caleb. Went to Dragon Barrow, and our first boss in Dragon Barrow, right by Garank, was. Um, Bofa? Single Bofa, not even like the, the duo. The Beast Man for Missoula. Then on the bridge to toward Lenny's Rise on the way to Grail was fucking Rick. Rick, soldier of God. I was like, no fucking way, dude. This is so free. It's so free. So after we got a few points of vague and got the Stormhawk to plus four, we went back and murdered them, and that was an extra 180k. So that's why we're such high level right now. Even though we've... We're not, like, full clearing zones. I'm not killing, like, every boss in every zone. We're just doing the key item checks, and that's it. So... Outside of, like, Grail is the only thing, and all the stuff in uh, Dragon Barrow are the only bosses we killed just specifically for the money. Okay, let's see if we have a cursed approach to gold free. Mm, that ant could be a problem, and that black flame monk could be a problem. Uh, the ant specifically... Oh my god! Get me the fuck off this branch. That is a leonine misbegotten. Yes, perfect. Follow, follow, follow. Oh, that's great. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on down, pal. Oh, that's... That's a blessing right there. I turned around to see if, like, he was, like, way the fuck up here still. He's right on my tail. That's perfect. Big fan of that. Uh, there's also... Ooh, there's an omen over there, too. We should be able to sneak past most of those. We're going to clear these. And just hope there's not a shitty boss. All right, this ant is being a problem. Ow. Ow. I can't really roll here. So I have to be really careful. Ooh, thank you, Stormhawk armor. I got hit by that guy. I was afraid I was going to get knocked off, but <clears throat> uh, Stormhawk Axe, Ash of War, has... Uh, it's not hyper armor, but it does have, like... I guess we call it super armor. I me. Mean... All right, we're going. Where it's like, you don't have infinite poise during it, you can get knocked out of it, but it's hard to knock you out of it. Oh, Stone Digger Troll? Hell yeah, dude. Let's get it. I am chunky. We will live. Even if we get fucking blasted by this guy. I missed. 
I don't even need a drink. Maybe I should. Placed. Beautiful. That's a free fucking boss if I've ever seen one. Alright, we need four more points of big before we're at the hard cap. I forgot to factor that in in my last run that we had Godric's Great Rune. Um, uh, the stats from Godric's Great Rune still push you to uh, hard and soft caps. So getting past 55 vigor in this case with Godric's Great Rune does nothing. And then we can start freely pumping points into Endurance or uh, Strength. Wow. All oh, right out of the sky. Get blasted. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we got. I have to say, this run has been particularly blessed with gear. Like, these talismans, I would run this as, like, an endgame loadout <laughs> in the base game. Those are some good talismans. Maybe not end game because you would have just like the better versions of them, but... Alright, we got either one of the Everjail bosses, or Moog, Sewer Moog, or Dragon Kid, like a spawner of some sort. Oh yeah, there it is. <clears throat> Sanguine Nobel. Oh, we got out. Oh, goodbye, sir. Wow, that was, um... Certainly a fight. Well, that was, um... A pretty easy trip through Landell. Alright, if we do not get the vanilla rolled medallion here, though, we have to go hunting for it. Which sucks. All right, Melina, be kind to my poor soul. Allow me, you are That's where she hands me the Halleck Tree medallion and tells me to go fuck myself. My purpose, so I'd like to the, the left half of the Halleck Tree. Uh, why do I speak these things into existence? Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, man. Halling tree, huh? I think I'm doing sewers first. Fuck. No, oh, my game crashed. Okay. I can't believe that. That's so fucking dumb. Oh, man. She would hand me that luxury. Hello? Game? Do, do we want to load? I never noticed that's how that did it. Hold on. My game seems to have not loaded properly. Let me just end the task. So I have a mod installed that skips the the logos as it loads up, um, just for convenience. I did it again. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Sorry, I was looking at the randomizer um, settings, and I thought I had the wrong setting selected for the rolled medallion. I did not. It has the dash there, which means I have to find the medallion. I had it at zero last time, so I went and hunted for every single fucking item I could find. And then just walked up to the, the rolled lift like four hours later. Um, and it just handed it to me because I selected the wrong thing. 
I do have the right setting check this time, though. Uh, okay, my game is just not responding. Uh, but the mod that I have installed is... Um, <laughs> it, it skips the logo, basically, for... Um, Make sure there's not a an Elden Ring task in the background, so you so you don't get flash banged by the the Bandai Namco um, logo every time you restart the game or quit out or whatever else, and it what it does what the mod does is it I guess it creates a secondary window for a moment and. Uh, Oh, hey, we did it! Hi, oh, Esmika, thank you for the follow and the kind words. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, it, it it pops up basically a window that blocks the um, logo, and then it goes past it, and then it goes away. I didn't realize that's how it did it. That's a uh, an interesting way of doing things. So I don't know why my follow alert is still disabled. I'm also going the wrong way to get to the sewers. Should I do sewers first? I guess. I'm right here. I may as well. Huh. Oh, I missed the gamer jump. I didn't make it into the hole the first time. I mean, I have a light source, so may as well just do it. The only bosses I'm really afraid of at the moment is Godskin Duo in a really shitty arena or just Melania in a high scaling I'm confident in my Melania fight, but I'm also not the best at spacing myself for Waterfowl anymore. So... Crystal darts. <laughs> that is exactly not enough crystal darts to do Watchdog Duo. You need four crystal darts to send one of them haywire. Some bullshit right there. Who designed that? Oh! Do you see it? We have a vanilla enemy. The vanilla omen. Just patrolling there. By the gate. Very cool. It's always fine in a randomizer to just find a vanilla enemy. It's like, oh! Oh, that's where it's normally supposed to be. That's not how that's supposed to happen. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, that's sewer scaling for you. Our plus 10 Stormhawk can't even one tap a rat. Alright, let's get rolling. Oh. Uh, no sewer skip this time. I am not doing it. It's not happening, and you can't make me. We're gonna do it the old fashioned way. Excuse you. And neither of those are particularly good. I suppose if we don't run into... I mean, our flasks are almost fully upgraded, so... I can't imagine we need... Um... The Crimson Seed Talisman for flask... Like, extra flask amounts. Hello! A ducky on quack. Nice. Good evening. I'm going to get the shortcut here. Just in case. Ooh, it's the... Oh, Jesus. That was a lot of damage. I don't like that. Right. 
I'm gonna get the shortcut here in case I have to fast travel out at some point. But I'm not planning on doing the skip, so I don't particularly know why I would need to fast travel out. Oh, come on. Silly swing arc on the second hit for this. Shh. Wrong attack. Man, if we were using a smithing stone weapon, I think we've found just every smithing stone. Oh, sorry. We're missing a single smithing five and a single smithing eight without having bought a single one. All right. Oh, hi there, Banished Knight. That's gonna hurt. Oh, never mind. Stormhawk's broken. Good to know. Alright. I like the Inquisitor's Girondel. It's not a very good weapon. Like, it's fine. It's just a pretty stock standard spear. But it's the spear I used as, like, a fast weapon in my first playthrough. So it holds a special place for me. Wow. Blood rose, you say. Also not particularly relevant. Wow. Wow. Got him. Money. Always nice. Coned Bolt. It's an interesting one. It's one of those spells that has like a long wind up. Oh, it's an incantation. It's an incantation that has a long wind up and then chain casts very quickly. I don't know how I feel about that. There's supposed to be an enemy on that bridge. Looking out to the right. I'm wondering if... Huh? Not invisible. Oh! The fuck? I don't know what I just hit, but I hit something. You got 5k laying around? Yeah, I do. I got a lot more than 5k laying around. Holy. Damn, not. I could grab two levels before the boss. Actually. Honestly, I don't think we have any heavier armor that we want to equip. So, probably just pumping damage at this point. I don't know why I keep sitting down. I need to pop these. Keep some of the smaller runes in case I need to buy something from a vendor. Probably not going to pop literally everything. So what... What was that that we killed here? Oh, okay, so this guy was gone. I don't know where he went. He was gone. Alright, let's see what we got up here for the enemies. Lightning Ball's a bit annoying. Uh, everything else is fine. And there's a slurg. Alright. No longer a slurg. Uh, I think we just sprint it. Gun it. Gun it and roll. Okay. Got him. Okay. Good. The problem is, I'm pretty sure the version of Doctor has aggro out here. We may just be killing this. This is the weapon to do it with, though. Weak to lightning? Hell yeah. 
Get him the fuck out of here. Down we go. Alright. Onward and downward. I think it's the second one. I always forget. I do sewer skip so often that I forget the actual correct way to go most of the time. I think it's this hole here. There should be an enemy and an item. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. Yeah, there's the shortcut. Right in front of his fucking face, and he's not going to do a damn thing about it. That's what we like to see. And there's the ladder. Okay, good. Now, all the enemies down here are passive, except until you touch the item in the corner. Which is great. I am not going to touch the item in the corner. I'm going to go in here and not deal with an abductor virgin and a rot dog. Alright. We made it to sewer mode. I have 13k in my bags. I think so. I've got 15 right here. So I'll just go ahead and do that. We'll have still some smaller runes, and we can always yard sale if we have to. I kind of want to find the the ur tree, or the tree sent the leggings somewhere. Just complete the look. These omen pants look so bad. Negative fashion right there. All right. Who do we have for Sewer Moog? That is Odile. We've already fought Niall. So... This should be markedly easier. I don't know where the summons are going to spawn at. Oh, it's right on top of them. Okay. Great! Oh, I was just late on the repost. Oh, come on. I needed more mana to use Stormhawk. There we go. Early. Also early. I'm not the best at Niall's timings, or O'Neill's timings, sorry. I'm not great. You can die. Thank you. Not the cleanest O'Neill kill you've ever seen. But I mean, I've also seen worse. Alright, got the Dark Moon Ring. Again, I don't understand why this is a key item in this game, but it is, apparently. Okay. Um gonna pump strength for a little bit. We will get a little more endurance. Maybe some FP at some point. But for now, I guess we are off to... Oh, there is one key item check I forgot in the Urnia. Uh, we did not get the Halig Tree Half check from Aldus. So let's go do that real quick. Mole Albus. No, thank you. I don't need a hand.
<laughs> oh, there's a red wolf. It's one of three, I want to say, non-boss red wolves in the game. Rotten Crystallian. I believe there's only three of those that are non-bosses non as well. Oh, and the laser golem? Bro, we got some all-stars out here. Look at that. So we're really far off to the side here if we're seeing this side of grace. The laser golem's a unique enemy that's at the painting reward in Kaled. Uh, to this fucking, this laser's clap. Let me tell you, Ain't nothing to mess with. Alright. Into the spam. Yeah, we'll go kill this thing. Okay. Now, at this point, Gold of Balfoot will probably save for Moog, because we're likely to find the Pure Blood Knights Medal at some point. So, we'll save that for the 480k pop from Moog. Just gonna go. Yeah, you can you can go back. That's fine. Okay, so that is all of Liernia. Uh, all of Kaled, all of Limgrave. And all of Altus. Well, I guess we don't have to go quite yet. We can go to Shaded Castle and Gelmir and get the checks. So we got Shaded Castle, so basically just Elmer in Shaded Castle. Oh, right. I forgot Fire Giant Phase 2 is up there. That's so awesome. We don't have to deal with that. Um, so just Elmer in Shaded Castle. And then in Gelmir, there's the a pumpkin head. Okay. Uh, in Gelmir, there's the merchant. Uh, one or two golden seeds. I think it's just one. And uh, uh, the item that you get from Tanith is also considered a key item. So those are the checks that we can get over here. And the merchant. It's high, uh, higher chance of getting it, because there's a lot of items shuffled in there. So... We can be hopeful. Uh, we're going to do Shaded Castle first. Then we can come back for the Spirit Springs over here and head up to... Excuse me, Gelmir. Oh, 
Banish Knight's Greaves. Those are pretty heavy. Yeah, okay. Are obnoxious. Well, maybe I didn't have to, because we were going around a corner anyway. Any other potential issues? I'll probably kill you too. Just so I don't get ding dinged on the ladder here. Well, looks like with everything else. Alright, All right, speaking of ding ding. Okay to level. Beautiful. More strength. More damage. More gooder. As I've heard. Rock and roll. Actually, blocking is not what you run with blocking for. Okay. We have got hit. still got hit by it. I saw the name and I was like, ah, I can get away from this. But no. Early roll. Dragon kin, my nemesis. Oh shit. I'm just getting hit by this, aren't I? Oh, we made it. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, I need to stun him. Ah, fuck. Okay, well, never mind. He didn't jump out of the arena, so we're good. I am ignorant right now with this boss. I am just mashing attack. Fuck me, dude. Oh, you're not dead. Um, oh, you are. Okay. I didn't hear the death sound. I don't know what they did with the scaling in this room, but the boss that replaces Elmer never feels dangerous. So... I don't know, dude. Couldn't be me. Die into that. We only died a dragon can soldier at fire giant. Uh, that is notably though both dragon can soldier bosses out of the pool, so we can no longer fight one of those. That's nice. I got that going for me. Spirit Spring up should be right over here. Yeah, there it is. Ooh. I'm pretty sure the Tree Sentinel armor is better. Ugh. 
Please. Just wanna go up. Okay, never forget the rune bear from attempt number two, I think. <laughs> Actually, no, the rune bear from uh, the use what you get randomizer. That's what that was. <laughs> so I remember walking off the side of the bridge and then immediately putting out, which is not allowed in the Deathless run. Alright. Onwards to Gelmir. I see. A big puff of poison. Looked like they were fighting something invisible for a second there. Must be really excited if that was an invisible assassin that's gone. Not that they're particularly problematic, but it's something you don't want to have to deal with, right? Okay. Two bears. No way. Great blade phalanx. Pretty sure the poise damage on that is worse than the glint blade phalanx ash of war. Three great runes and the rolled medallion, basically. Uh, finding the drawing room key would be nice so that we don't have to die to get into Volcano Manor. It's a shitty thing that is possible in the randomizer, but we don't count it as a death if the, the game literally forces you to. Huh. I remember there were two enemies over there. All right, Merchant Man. Welcome. Dear You're one of my only hopes. I'm hungry. Oh. We don't like seeing Carrion inverted either. There's so much that goes wrong in there. There's one key item check in the inverted tower. A single check. And that's you have to get all the way to the end of it, go up and loot Ronnie's body. Single item check. And there's just so much that can go wrong there. There's the parkour through the rafters, but the, honestly, the worst part of it is the invader on that little bridge. You can get knocked off by them so easily. It's insane. There's so many invaders that have, like, hyper armor poise. Alright, does anyone else see it? Like, right above my head right here, it's like the wolf's mouth. And it's like howling at the moon. Anyone else? Ignore, like, the other half of the rock now that I'm hiding. Hello, Mr. Marmot. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Just didn't pick up the item. Okay. Didn't want to anyway, it's fine. All right. We have... Hibia? No, snail. Full-grown snail. Wow. Beautiful. Also, 
God, we're so tanky. 60% physical negation with all these buffs up is massive. The Roar Medallion. That's not the medallion I need. I need the Rolled Medallion. Obviously, I can't pick it up there, but come on. Come on. Okay. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> I do enjoy the Calamity Ring. Okay, well, there's, uh, one check left. We tried. So we got Tanith, and then we're going underground. So if Tanith doesn't have vanilla drawing room key or the rolled medallion, we have to go underground. So, about the bird, if you have, rise with a decision. Nice the drawing room. I am ten. Fuck. Oh, God. Well, I guess we're going underground. So no more checks in here. We got both these. We got all the seeds. We got the merchants. <laughs> hey, do I? Yep. Down and down we go. We got sewers done. We got shaded castle. E.g. Padilla. Ray Lucaria merchant. Seeds here. Albus. Stormvale, all this. We got patches of spell bearing. We didn't forget that this time. We've done Castle Morn. Yeah. And everything in Kaled as well. Welp. Down we go. We have the Hallow Tree Medallion, but it's either go to Consecrated Snowfields or go underground. And at this point, I think I'd rather just go underground. Like, uh, we have the stats to handle Hallow Tree, but why risk it when we can be stronger when we go later? And besides, I'm not going to the actual Hallow Tree unless I absolutely have to. Like we have the uh, we have the medallion to get into snowfields, but if I don't have to go to consecrated snowfields, yeah, don't have to go through snowfields if you do underground. Technically, you do if there's a key item in the hallow tree. Did I? Go past the the building. Yes, I did. Fuck. Yeah, if if either Loretta or Melania has a key I'd, has one of the great runes, I do have to. I can't remember if there's any golden seeds there or not. Honestly, I think no, but I'm not sure. But, technically, the rolled medallion could be on any of those things. So inside Consecrated Snowfields, there's two Golden Seed checks. There's one right by the lift, and there's one near Ordina. There's a Sacred Tier Church 
up by um, past Ordina to the north, and then in Snowfields proper, or uh, sorry, those are the three in Snowfields. So it doesn't technically require you to kill anything to get to them, but you do have to survive the running sections. Um, tree spirit in Halle tree drops. Now only the actual golden tree seeds count as uh, golden seed locations. Otherwise, the uh, tree spirits inside Landell and such would also count. They're basically any ulcerated tree spirit would count. So only the ones that you can pick up off the ground count. Why am I getting sauced by a fucking flower, bro? Get me out of here. Oh my god. What a fucking running section this is. Okay, and I'm off my own. Okay, please stop. Hello? Am I gonna die here? What the fuck? Fuck out of here, bro. What the hell? <laughs> oh, God. That was awful. Okay. Um... I think I might do the merchant here. It's like, we'll do... We'll do Shifra. And then I'll probably head to Snowfields because, as I said, the three... There's the three key item checks in Snowfields do not require you to kill a single thing. So we can go there and just check those. And T.Y., as long as you don't suggest I do some sort of a uh, skip that requires gravity, um, you can stay. It's fine. No jump skips. I have, I have remembered, like, I have rememorized how to navigate the sewers again. Because I'm not doing sewer skip anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the one I that I was definitely doing that one, uh huh, for sure. No, I, I honestly, I know I've died twice to falling, and I feel like there was a third one, but I can't remember it. But the the two really bad ones was the first run, where I fucked up sewer skip. Like, I fucked up the fast travel out of Sewer Skip because I'm a dumbass and died to fall damage there. And then uh, the previous run to this one where I fucked up the pillar jump in Fair Missoula and, again, fucked up the fast travel inputs for that and died. Oh, lord. But I feel like I died another time to falling, but I can't remember... It doesn't stick out as much as the other ones. If I did. No, I do. Some better mine. couple more, then we'll make our way up to... Actually, I think making our way up to the merchant now is the correct point. 
We'll hit this, then the grace, and then go do the merchant. Nice. So, fun fact. And I believe I'm correct in saying this, but outside of the ancient dragons from Fair Missoula, um, the only dragons that have a breath attack that aren't bosses are the glintstone dragons from Ronnie's uh, up the up the elevator from Estelle. I can't remember what the area is called, the moon gazing grounds or whatever. Those are the only non-boss dragons with the breath attack. All the ones from Dragon Barrow and and such don't have the breath. They just have the standard dragon fly around, be annoying moveset. But no breathing fire. In case you haven't seen any of it though yet, TY, we have some pretty notable bosses out of the pool so far. Uh, the biggest one being Fire Giant Phase 2. He's in. Uh, some random boss spot in. Altus. So we got that out of the way. We've already killed both Dragonkin soldiers as well. So none of those shenanigans. Uh, we also have Horalu out of the way. Horalu was Phase 2 Renala. So, but of the spooky bosses left, we do still have, obviously, Melania, um, Orgot, I'm bad at, uh, Elven Beast is a thing. Oh, Merchant, why? Uh, Radigan as well. Radigan I wouldn't classify as spooky, though. I'm pretty good at Radigan. Um... Outside of that, it's just bosses that have, like, random grabs and stuff like that that are super obnoxious. Um, like, e even some cemetery shades can be really annoying. Portisax into Placidosax. Jesus. That sounds awful. Like, I love Placidosax as a fight. It's a fight that's about positioning, so it's not that bad. But I despise Portisax. I would rather fight Godskin Duo than Portisax. Oh, yeah, Godskin Duo is another one we still have. Because I can at least, like, parry Godskin Noble. But if I'm playing a pure melee build against Fortisax, I'm literally not allowed to hit him. <laughs> like, if you're underneath Fortisax, it's what triggers his lightning aura. So... Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Why are you lagging? Stop that. But standing underneath him triggers his lightning aura, so if you're playing a melee build, like a pure melee build, no ranged options, or limited ranged options, then you're just gonna have to deal with the constant lightning aura, which is fucking bullshit. But yeah, I guess, so yeah, other bosses. We have Placidosax, Lanciax, and Fortisax still. Um, Melania, Godskin Duo. These are all fights that could just be problematic. They're not necessarily bad. Uh, oh, and Valiant Gargs, of course. Valiant Gargs is the actual worst fight in the game. And they are still in the pool as well. 
And I'm really hoping they're not somewhere like Fire Giant Arena, because dealing with them in a shitty arena is probably the worst fight imaginable. Um, I've also had to deal with Valiant Gargs in Gideon's Arena. Solves. All right, I guess we're off to Snowfields. I don't particularly feel like doing more underground right now. So, another thing. Oh, we also found um, the splitting Erd Tree Avatar. So we know that's not in the pool either. There's just some random avatar out in Altus, and I was like, oh yeah, I can fight this. No problem. Be a, a little chunk of change. A little more runes in my belt. Be good to go. No. <laughs> Got it to like 50%. It held up its like a staff in the air and started glowing yellow, and I just left. Like, not. Nah, it ain't happening. I don't know if it was an Altus or not, but it was somewhere where I was very confident in it dying. And, uh, I left it. Not dead. Hello, Mr. Bat. Out of here, fucking roly poly skull snail. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at my great runes. I kind of wish we had Radon's. I might run it at the moment just because the extra stats it would give. Uh, Mimic Tear has the Grail replacement. Oh, no, dude. We were blessed as fuck in this run. Alright. Uh, the Putrid Avatar in front of Garank was single Beastman of Furumazula. So one Bofa. And Grail on the bridge was Rick. Oh, Rick, soldier of God. So we are... We were super poor at the start of the run. Found, like, no runes laying around. Got to Dragon Barrow. And we were just fucking loaded. I had a Bleed Ash of War that I put on a Twin Blade. That I was able to bleed out Grail. And then had those. I had a Grail with a foot, which was about 80k. And then... Both... Bofa and Rickethy after we got our weapon to plus four. So. Tutorial Sionis. Oh, that's brutal. Brutal, man. I mean, it's nice because it's like a guaranteed kill, basically, so you get the money for the start. If you're doing the setting now that lets you randomize your starting gifts, you don't actually, you don't always have the lands between rune. <laughs> yeah. I always try the tutorial boss, mostly because in a deathless run, you're technically not supposed to jump off. Oh, there's the, the Margit enemy. 
Nice. Uh, you're technically not supposed to jump off in a deathless run because you get the you died screen when you jump off the ledge. Uh, but if you get killed by the tutorial boss, you get put to 1 HP and just spawned in the next area. Oh, crab. Don't you do it, crab. Okay, good. I went over him. Crab wanted to get spicy for a second. I wasn't having it. So, technically in a deathless run, you're not supposed to jump, but I do. But, sorry. I don't anymore. I did it my first run, but we lost it anyway. Um, so I just fight the boss. Alright. What is BBK? It is a troll. Black Blade Troll. Hell yeah. Me too, buddy. Oh, I can't reach his face. Okay. Good. That's you. Have you seen our insane loadout yet? My equipment. Ronnie Drip. Hell yeah. Just a little black blade troll. Just a little bit. So Alexander, the absolute fucking lad, gave me an incredible talisman, which is why he's still alive. Uh, he gave me the tur the green turtle talisman. So we've got Dragon Crest plus two, green turtle, Urtree favor plus one, and Warrior Jar Shard. And I even have like Spell Drake, Scar Seal, Crimson Dagger, like couple other really good talismans, along with Stormhawk plus 10, and some fat fucking armor. So we're doing... we're sitting pretty nice. Yeah, we've been doing... Like I said, we're pretty blessed in this run so far. And we're only getting stronger. Now, I have reached kind of like the apex of my tankiness, which is a little bit problematic, but shouldn't be too bad. As long as we don't run into a shit ton of magic enemies all at once, it shouldn't be bad. Now that I've said it, I'm going to go ahead and equip this. Because <laughs> we're going to be running through this area. I don't plan on stopping to fight anything. Um... But we'll see. Bitch. running. Just keep running. You know what? Just, just keep running. We'll, we'll stop at the grace out here. We, we, we don't need to be the one in there. That's okay. We can stop here. Okay, gonna drop some markers here. We're gonna go to here. There's a golden seed here, ish, uh, and then down to here, down to here, down to here, to about here, ish. That's our final destination. I dropped these because I can't fucking see anything. Every time.
make myself a little course to follow so that I can just navigate the snow safely and not fall and die. You know, the usual. Alright, so we'll grab the Golden Seed at Ordina. Probably the Grace at Ordina as well, so I can open up Hallig Tree if I absolutely have to. And then... Uh, head to the... Sacred Tier. Jesus. What's wrong with my game today? I keep just getting this, like, stuttery lag. I don't like it. Not a hundred percent sure on where the golden seed is here. I, it's oh, literally right there. Hell yeah. Rude. Fuck. All right, and then the church is up here, past the FPS destroying tower. It's such a cool area. Like, this is such a cool concept. One of the wandering mausoleums being, like, a fucking siege engine. Wait. This isn't... This isn't the sacred tier. Is there a sacred tier here? I could have swore there was, but it, I guess there isn't. So it's just those two checks there. We can't get to mountaintops from here. So I think that's it. Yeah. Wow, that was... a bit underwhelming. Uh, I guess we're off to Nokron. This fucking game, man. This is my own fault for randomizing the rolled medallion. Or not giving myself a great rune option instead. I think if you lock them behind great runes, if you want to do the 2 7, still like 2 to, two to get into lane Dell, 7 for final boss, most people would do 4 for mountaintops, considering there's so many key item checks after you get into mountaintops. You don't want to have it be too high. To sneak up on the arrows, you know? I mean, so far, I've yet to... I've yet to find all seven great runes in a run yet. Oh, hello, Crystallion. The worm face... Snail. Wow. There's some bullshit going on here. We ride. Uh, not some bullshit going on down there, though, which is nice. That's one of the... This is one of the spooky sections where... You're forced onto a, like, ledge or platform or narrow walkway. And there can be, like, some enemies that are super aggressive and then can knock you back quite easily. So. I'm glad to see that it's not the case here. 
So that's one of the bad ones. Sewers is also a bad one, but we had some really tame sewer pipes. Um, the Gold Free Branch is also a really spooky one, which we had a, we had a pretty tame branch. We did have that lean and misbegotten, but we were able to kite him all the way down before we even got hit by him. Uh, most of Paramazula, to be honest, is a fucking nightmare. Um, I hear a Royal Revna. Are you down there? Can't see it. You're not down here. In that case, I don't know where you are. Okay. The rune arcs, yeah, they're they're really nice, honestly. <laughs> Look, one of them gave me like plus ten percent HP for the early game, and then the next one gave me like plus five to all stats. It was awesome. What's going on here? Crafted Scion, okay. Duplicate Margaret Shackle? I didn't know that was possible. Currently, I know we have a duplicate of the Spelldrake Talisman because it randomized into one of my starting gifts. I didn't realize there was a second Margaret Shackle in the game. Speaking of, I do have both Margaret and Moog Shackles, so I need to remember that if I run into into those two. Oh, uh... Red Bane Knight is actually a pretty good Ash of War, or Ash of War, um, Spirit Summon. So they do that, uh, the gravity arrow shot that Radon does. Super accurate. And it staggers things. Like, it's got a lot of, it's got a decent amount of poise damage on it. Oh, get iframed. The nut can't touch me. I am unnuttable. Patches or Maiden Husk? I mean, I don't know. It's it's weird. I'm not I'm not sure. Randomizer does fucky things. As I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah. Well, that's the thing though, Patches' inventory should be randomized anyway, so I don't understand why it would be a factor in it like being duplicated. I'm just like I've done tons of randomizer runs at this point. And I have never seen a duplicate market shackle before. Hello, Octopus. Would be nice. Huh, at least that went better than expected. So much so that I'm gonna kill that. No hit run, by the way. Can't touch me. Oh, I'm stuck. Nice. Well, there goes the no hit run. Unbelievable. Bullshit attack. How was I supposed to dodge that? I mean, I guess. I, I'm not sure how the randomizer works overall. All I know is I like it a lot. 
And if Matt has decided that we can have a second Margaret Shackle, then by God, we can have a second Margaret Shackle. I'm going to kill this before it becomes a problem. What about second shackle? You wanted to die, all you had to do was say so, piggy. I got you. Oh. I mean, this is Nakron scaling. The lightning probably won't kill me even if I eat all six hits, but... <laughs> Why risk it sitting on the horse, right? The offer was only extended to the pig. Got it. I got most of my flasks back from killing that thing, so or be like minus two, minus one, minus two. Be all right. It's not cron scaling. What could possibly go wrong? He says. You missed it earlier, Ty. Uh, right after I killed Margit, I was like, all right. Melina, if this isn't vanilla rolled medallion, I have to go hunting for it. So please, just give me the vanilla rolled medallion. Esker! Oh god. Oh, the dogs didn't aggro, it looks like. And, uh, and then I was like, hey, here, watch this. This is where she's gonna, like, hand me the Howling Tree medallion and tell me to go fuck myself. And lo and behold, she handed me the second half of the Howling Tree. Which I forgot to mark off, actually. We're off to Volcano Manor, boys! Let's go! No shitty death bug. Well, not bug, but like... Forced death by the randomizer. Like we had the... I think it was the actual first run. <laughs> We had every single item check from above ground and below ground before capital, and we only had one great room. <laughs> that was bullshit. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's fine, though. Oh, do I not have my physic? Oh, I guess I don't. I never sat down. Hug baby got back. Problems, yeah. Alright. Uh... We we can go say hi to Raya. Hey girl. A pleasure to meet you. I am Raya. The scout under Lady Tanith's guidance. Nice. You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my word. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I thought you were tarnished, bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk, before you consider... Blasphemy. Alright. Speaking of blasphemy, we got a right card to kill. I still did... Wait. Oh no, it's not letting me use my physic because I'm in the... In the non-combat zone. For whatever fucking reason, that's a stipulation for using your physic. Okay. Horses drop ancient dragonsmithing stones.
Well, I believe the reason why they don't let you drink the Physic is because it can deal damage. If you load in the Exploding Physic tier, you could kill necessary NPCs, basically. It has been a long time since I've come to the Volcano Manor this way. Never knew what hit him. Hit him with the Ezio from the top rope. Assassinated from the rooftop. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. No, this is the wrong spot. I always do that. I run past the staircase like it's the way I'm supposed to go. I forgot to switch my talisman back too. I'm running around with spell drake on this entire time instead of warrior jar. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna go back and sit at the grace and reset this physic. So I'm uh, probably just gonna run straight to Godskin Noble. I don't think I'm getting the bridge. We'll probably kill whatever's at the top of the thing there by the elevator for Godskin, but what do we got here? Abductor Virgin, Big Hand, Bofa at the bottom. Yeah, thanks for that. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Oh, perfect. Whoo, that was spicy. God damn. Okay, maybe I am going to the, <laughs> to the grace up there. That was only three hits. We definitely would have died to tank him that whole thing. What we got? Demi-human chief duo? Ah, we'll be fine. We have Stormhawk. Stormhawk's busted. As long as everything doesn't fan out too quickly, we should be good. So we press L2. Hard fight. Oh. Guys. Yeah, the problem that you run into in the randomizer with large fights like that, where there's a lot of enemies, they all just spawn clumped up in one spot. So... Yeah, they, they, stuff like that just happens, where you just one-tap an entire pack with a weapon art or something. Same thing happened with O'Neill and Niall. Well, not Niall, because Niall's guys split off, but same thing happened with O'Neill, where all his shit just spawned right on top of him, and then you press L2.
Fair enough. We can both do a jump attack right past each other. And we both live to see another day. Uh, too, I, did you ever do the old palace ruins in your, like, vanilla playthrough? Like, not randomized playthrough? that zone. It's a piece of shit. It's like the early entrance to um, Ainsel River. And it's just Clayman hell. There's just so many Clayman everywhere. Alright. What we got? What we got? What we got? We got... Is that Duo? I think it might be Crucible Duo. No, I think it's just Solaria, actually. Yeah, it's just Solaria. Okay. Oh, this should be easy. Go ahead and buff my weapon now, because I'm not really going to have a, an opportunity to use it. Hello? Okay, there you go. Hey Malakath. You doing, buddy? That was not a good attack to do there. This is a problematic boss too. But it's fine. You should be pretty squishy, honestly. at all. Dodge really late there. How did that miss? There we go. I do know how to dodge that attack, I promise. There we go. Okay, that was a little spooky, but not bad. The double fucking seed pump, bro. Like, come on. We got two great runes from Ronala yesterday, and now all we're getting is fucking golden seeds. <sighs> uh... Well, 40 strength now. Good damage. Uh, I guess we're heading to... Uh... Oh, did I not get the grace over there? Fuck. I didn't. I guess we're off to Valiant Gargs. It's like I'm finding a way to access more stuff above ground. And then immediately leave underground and go do that. And then have to come back underground again. Ugh.
you win this time, Eagle. But that one didn't. The moon. Care about the moon? Alright, I'm just doing the jump normally here. Last time I did the jump on torrent, I fucked up the angle, landed on this, dismounted, and fell off and had to fast travel out. I'm not doing that again. Almost had a fucking heart attack. Gonna, gonna walk normally like normal human beings what I do find exceptionally nice about this run so far though is I don't I, I, my build is done if I find specifically blasphemous blade I might respec to use that but the build is done I have a plus 10 weapon I have all the stats I could need I have really good talismans and armor Borealis. And suck every inch of my nuts, but fine, I guess. So what I want most from Borealis is for him to not roar, kind of that miss, and just kind of do like stompy attacks. This is like a phase transition scripted roar, that's fine. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Borealis. It's the least painful Borealis fight I've ever done in my life. Alright. Quick level up. Uh, since we just got to 40 strength, I kind of want to pop up to like 25 endurance. So we'll put a few more points in endurance here. Our damage is bonkers. I may not be a big fan of the Stormhawk Axe's hitboxes on some scenarios, but our, our, our output is actually nuts right now. Uh, but having a complete build means I can just go from key item check to key item check. I don't have to dip into little nooks and crannies looking for, you know, uh, somber or a talisman or anything like that. I can just go from boss to boss, key item to key item, and be done. I'm very familiar with the critical path for a randomizer. I mean, it's orange. Whether I've been baited or not, I'm taking it. And it was definitely a bait. Plus, since Six is Ruin is not a good spell. It's fun. It's funny. But it's very bad. Grab the Grace over here at the waterfall, and then... What is that floating around him? It's like an invisible... Death Blight enchanted weapon. Oh, 
Oh, that was weird. Um, this area is not particularly spooky in terms of, like, things that can go wrong. Because so there's not a ton of enemies on these branches. But you can just fall and die. And there are enough enemies in the zone where you're probably going to be in combat. So if you do fuck up and fall off, you're not surviving. That said, I don't remember if there's a safer way to get to Thea's simps than over there. I don't feel safe doing that, and I don't know why, because I've done that jump many times. It's just throwing rocks at me. I'm really skittish on these branches right now, and I'm not really certain why. That's okay. Uh, who do we got? Who do we got? <sighs> Fucking Fortisax. We don't have lightning proof dried liver. Uh, I don't have the lightning talisman, do I? Nah, I just have the spell break. Alright. The problem is this is also Bordisax in a fucking closet. Because the, the the arena for Fia Sims is tiny. Sauced by this fucking lightning aura, bro. I hate this shit. Come here, you little bitch. Come on. Do something. Do something. I hate that they gave Fortis Sex Placida Sex's music here. This boss is way worse than Placida Sex. In like every imaginable way. My god. Alright. Fuck you, Fortisex. You piece of shit. Make me fight you in a fucking closet for a cracked pot. Asshole. Alright. Down to... 
in Soul River. Yeah. Ansel River's got Dragonkin Soldier, Noxtella, Golden Seed, um, Merchant. So this has better physical but less magic protection than the Omen Greaves. Yeah, the Omen's worse against physical, but better against fire, lightning, and holy by marginal amounts. But these are also lighter. So I can wear my parry shield now. And still be a medium load. Hell yeah. And we don't have those goofy Omen Killer pants on, we just have the goofy duck feet instead. Love it. All right, so first order of business is probably the merchant and then uh, dragonkin soldier so those are pretty close together like getting to the merchant leads you to dragonkin soldier basically thanks for that um after dragonkin soldier we'll go noxtella i guess then noxtella to like we're up And then Estelle. And then that's all of Underground done. So we have to find the Rolled Medallion down here. Otherwise, I am completely fucking clueless. And that are... We'll find the Rolled Medallion or the Pure Blood Knight's Medallion. One of the two. You know what? I'm gonna kill this. I don't want him sniping me while I'm walking down the hallway. That was some lovely frame lag. Don't like that. Uh, I'm gonna grab the Grace and Noxtella here so we don't have to run back. And we'll come back up and head to Dragonkin. Or, not Dragonkin. Um, the merchant, then drag. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trying to think, if there was something other than Blasphemous Blade that I was to pick up that would make me want to change anything on my build, what that item would be. I guess I talked about Bloodhound Fang possibly being part of it, but at the same time, Bloodhound Fang is just heavier than Stormhawk and worse against a lot of enemies. I suppose Golden Parry would be a good one to get. Or even just a buckler. So I'm pretty sure the buckler weighs less than a small shield. And buckler parry is just, I believe, the equivalent, if not maybe like one frame worse than carry and retail. And golden parry. Don't know sleep pot recipe either.
<laughs> I'm a little gremlin, I know. I'm a big gremlin. I'm not a not a gremlin, I'm just a menace. Is someone that customer? Please. I don't need Dectus, bro. So I'll just go ahead and grab it. Hmm. I guess two items that lead us to more stuff. Well, we have carrying inverted, so the statue is another key item check. But also... Um... The discarded palace key could be one. What the fuck is going on back there? Jesus Christ. Some angry boys over there. Uh, yeah, so discarded palace key, obviously rolled medallion we're happy with, and pure blood knight's metal are items that we're looking for from Dragonkin Soldier, Noxella Golden Seed, and uh, Astel. Barring any of those, I guess we have to go to the Divine Tower of Lyrnia. Uh -huh. I really don't want to do that. Uh, wait, that's the Laker Brot Overlook. I don't need to be there. Dude, the Green Turtle Talisman might be the best talisman in the game. Like, look at how fast that stamina regens. We have a lot of stamina. Like, it's so good. Alright, do we get a peek? Who's in here? Watched out! Alright. Watchdog's manageable. Noxtella Golden Seed check first, which is arguably more annoying than Lake of Rot. In my opinion, it is anyway. I do not like. Um, holy frame lag, Batman. What is going on in there? You seeing this shit? Oh, God. All right. Well, we got to look down for steady frame rate. What is going on up there? Bruh. Well, it's definitely the gargoyle. It's not the only problem, but it's part of the problem. I am leaving before I get pushed off the ledge by that gargoyle. All right. Frame rate is stable now. Jesus Christ, that was something. Thank you, doggo. I appreciate the shoulder check. Mm, these 
are pretty tame. Oh, hi. Big hand. Nice ulti. Jesus Christ! Bob it. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh! We did it, boys! I thought you fucking died. There's another one? What is your poise, bro? Brother, please die. Well, we found something to replace the Giga Chad hair with. We do not have the equip load for this. Alright, we in, boys. Pumpkin Hatton. This is my OG, OG helmet. We used Bull Goats for a little while, and then I decided to just run this with it. In my first playthrough. What a good run that was. I was so bad at this game, man. Like, obnoxiously bad at the game. And I still had this notion of, like, input reading bosses being bad and stuff like that. Reading an input is fine. It's just something you have to learn to play around. You may not enjoy when every time you touch your flask, Margaret throws a dagger at you. But otherwise, it's just free to heal. So, Alright. Ghost Bell 2... Uh, it's good to be back. Back in the hat. I'm over here collecting Trina's lilies like I'm ever going to find the sleep pot recipe. I, have, I must have so many by now. I have 15 of them.
Okay, Lake of Rot. It's actually detrimental doing that now that I think about it. Scarlet Rot takes you for a percentage of your HP. So, raising my maximum HP by drinking my Physic was just going to make the Rot hit harder. But it's fine. It's not like we don't have 13 health flasks and a fuck ton of HP. An engaging and thrilling ride through the Lake of Rot. Here we are. Okay. You know, now that I think about it, be as champs in a really high scaling arena could be kind of problematic. Estelle, what you got? Sotheria is a bit higher scaled, but the scaling in Ainsel is still not that high. We got Moog, and I believe this is this is actual Moog. Uh, Sewer Moog spawns facing away from you. He spawns in. Not a single tick of that hit. Last one. Fuck, that last one almost killed me. That was a little scary. You're joking. You're actually joking. You're gonna make me go to fucking carry an inverted statue?
I gotta check the round table. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Like pure blood night metal, or literally anything to keep me from going to the fucking carrion and burden statue. Power. Uh, have you seen this yet, Ty? They changed the they changed Thops's key to be red, so you can easily distinguish which one is which. They also named it Sorcerer Thops. Do I want to go this way? Kind of don't. Eh, no, it's fine. The... Eh, no, it's fine. Stop by Turtle Pope and turn in the prayer books we picked up. Let's see what kind of incants we have access to after we. If we decide to put any points in faith. We already have. We have Flame Grant Me Strength in the. Um, Remembrance Armor Shop or whatever. I think. If you find unless in which case Oh very well heresy all thing Oh very well heresy all thing Nothing good I haven't even looked at Corin's shop yet Gee, thanks. I'll grab this in case we need to come back for Turtle Pope. We find more prayer books or something. I don't have to go back through Ray Lucaria again. I'm just so upset. I really hope the invader that we get just runs off the ledge. That would be ideal. Barring that, does some sort of attack that throws them off the ledge. Barring that, doesn't have some ridiculous hyper armor attack that has good knockback so that we don't get blasted off the ledge. That's all. Yeah. So basically, I don't want to see Manus the Beast Claw. Or... Basically any of the Volcano Manor. Well... Menace the Beast Claw, Bernal, Invader from Ferrum. I'm sure there's more that I would be upset about. I just need somebody that I can close distance on relatively safely. 
If we can press L2 on top of them, they'll die. I'm just worried about getting knocked off. Interesting. I thought we fought in Abba at Ray Lucaria. All right, he's Sudokuing himself. Oh, death blight. Oh, death blight. Oh, death blight. Not for that. Oh, hey, Abba. There you are. Oh god. Oh god, Death Blight! Stop it! <sighs> I don't know where Inaba went. Oh, I think he, he teleported. Alright, doggo. I mean, Do I have... I do have a death bolus. Okay. Ah! Amazing. I thought he teleported, but he was right there, and then he seppuku'd himself to death. <laughs> uh, I think we jump onto this one. I'm like 99% sure this is the right one. I was correct. I did not die instantly upon landing. safe. Oh my god. That was the sketchiest ledge walk off I've ever done in my life, by the way. I definitely thought I was going to stand up and slip off. There was zero doubt in my mind. Okay. This enemy right here drops five items. It is a scaly misbegotten. It is. My apologies. Four items. It's usually the entire Godskin Noble set. Is that like oil pots or something? I don't even know, dude. It's not sleep pots, I don't care. Now, if this... If this does not contain either the discarded palace key or the rolled medallion, I have to ask Kale for help, because I do not know where else to go. Uh, we'll peel over the map first before we go to target to cheat, but I, I do not remember where else we can go from here. Uh, 
unless I missed like a random golden seed or sacred tier somewhere unintentionally. All right, we got full gold on at least. We're matching. Oh, it's blue. What did I miss? I legitimately have no idea what I've... Oh. Never picked up the second deck to half. I swear to God, if this is the roll of medallion. Mm. Yeah, I don't go through here early because the enemies inside could be spooky. Look at this guy, he's a skeleton. Literally a spooky man. Trying to get through here at low level would be awful. Two runes and the medallion. All right, listen here, pal. Yeah, like this teleporting banish knight from fucking Castle Soul. Toxic. Getting buffed by a perfumer, even more toxic. But it's okay. I'm gonna sit at the top of this ladder and knock him off a bit with my L2. Actually, he's not that far behind me. Well, it's orange, which is not that good, actually. <laughs> he got back on the ladder and left. Okay, well, Radon's Great Rune is awesome and all, but we're still very much not able to progress through the game right now. So... Literally hit him with the the grandpa from The Simpsons, walked into the thing, saw Bart, put his hat back on, walked back out. I'm good. No, thank you. Okay. Let's think. Limgrave. There's all of Weeping. All of Limgrave. We got Patches as Bell Bearing. It's the one I normally miss. Uh... Cave Merchant down here. Beach Merchant, whatever his name is. Kaled. Unless I didn't... No, I went back for Celia. I remember because I went the weird way when I went through. Um... Liernia. We got that. We, we killed Thops there, so because we have his bell bearing. I know we got the, the tier there. We got the Golden Seed here. Merchant here. Renala. And Red Wolf. Uh, we did Caria Manor. Talked to Padilla. We did uh, Rudestrin Precipice. Bellum Church. Uh, I don't have the Grace at the Belfries, so I guess I'll check and make sure I picked up the Stone Sword. The Abute Sword gear, rather. Oh, Kali is going to tell me to go to the Howling Tree, isn't he? I don't want to go to the Howling Tree. Things hurt there. And there's lots of places to fall off the branches at the beginning. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't open this. Please. Oh. <laughs> I do remember getting the Abused Sword Key at Ray Lucaria. So we did do that. I didn't forget to buy something from EG, did I? Well, then I presume. No, it's just the Academy key. Alright, Kali. Give me the bad news. I think we need more money. I'm pretty sure it's like 23k. Alright. The red mark on my map is... We're certainly earning this run. Let me tell you. You know, it all over creation just to find this shit. The rolled medallion is in the Hallig Tree. This is unbelievable. I hear a royal revenant. But I don't think it matters. Yeah, there's no invisible archers and or no invisible assassins and the triple tap sniping archers aren't up here either. This place is a lot, you know, it's it's a lot more friendly. Now, I think there's going to be two ways to traverse the Hallig Tree. Uh, we can methodically make our way through, kill stuff as we go, and kind of play quote-unquote safe. But honestly, the longer we stay on those branches, the more possible it is that we just get tapped by a random attack that flings us off the bridges to our death. So, I'm going to survey my surroundings. We're going to look for any problematic enemies, cry when they exist, and hopefully just sprint past everything as we go. That's the goal. Yeah, I just I just had to make sure I didn't have the rolled medallion in my inventory already. You know, just just yeah, li literally anything to not have to go to Halle Tree, even though it tells me I have to. Oh boy. Here we are. 
Welcome to the Howie Tree. All right, so automatically I don't see any large enemies, but I do see a bird. Bird could be annoying. I see a bat as well. Bat could also be annoying. Um, Ordina Archer, not staying. Alvin Arc Archer, whatever they're called. Oh god. Okay. Flower. Kind of obnoxious, actually. Okay, that golem is probably fine. An archer golem somewhere else would probably already have aggroed us. So... Here we go. Alright, let's ride. No, sir. Oh. What was that? Alright, well, he put away the... He put away the bow, so we should be fine. I think we're good here. And the golem is hopefully fine. We just need to get on here and not die. Slide, slide, slide! Alright, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Okay, we can... Traversing this area is pretty fine. There can be some annoying enemy placements, but for the most part, it's fine. It's once we get down to the bridges near Loretta that we have concerns. Because again, possibility of getting knocked off is very high. Excuse me? What the fuck are you doing here? I need you to not be on this bridge. I need you to not knock me off of this platform. Okay. Everything's fine. Ow. Jesus Christ. And a page over here, too. Got a. Pulling out all the annoying enemies. Beast Repelling Torch. Nice. Get me to the grace. Well, Thickums can stay right the fuck over there. Not interested. Okay. We made it. is burning. Looks fine, I guess. Fat stacks. Oh, dear. That's a lot of chunky enemies over here. I am just gonna get right the fuck out. Goodbye. night on my ass. Alright. I'm gonna open the shortcut. Reset my physic. Let's see what's in Loretta's room. Now this is the highest scaling in the game. So whatever boss we run into... Let's hope it's not problematic. <laughs> Otherwise, we're in for a bad time. <laughs> I really love the Howling Tree. Like, if this were not a deathless run, I would actually be really excited about the game making me come here. Am 
All right, we have a spawner. Bruh. Oh boy, here we go. Repent's actually not bad to strafe. Holy fuck, he just jumps across the whole zone at you. Brother, please. Stop doing literally that attack and that attack only. I didn't roll! Okay. Everything's fine. being oddly unaggressive right now. Puked right in my mouth. Did not enjoy. Just rebuffing my weapon. Kill it. Kill it. Okay. Fuck yes. Alright. We'll come back for Melania. I'm going to Mountaintops. If we have to come back for Melania, come back for Melania. I am going to Mountaintops. I'm going to get to 30 Endurance and go back to Strength, and that'll be like all our defensive stats. Alright. Uh, oh, right, we already have the... the rolled... Sight of Grace. That's nice, at least. Alright. And that's why having good damage negation is really nice for a run like this. What are we at now with the, uh... Physic and the Crab? We're at 2200 HP and 63% damage negation for physical. We obviously do not have the same magical uh, tankiness, but that's a problem for future me if we run into Renala phase two, you know, just dodge them out. Yeah, honestly, at that point in the game, that wasn't really that bad. Like, Royal Revenant has some annoying attacks for sure, but they don't have anything overtly bullshit. They're just kind of obnoxious to hit. Some of their attack combos can be a little bit annoying, but it's, it's mostly just getting your openings and not being greedy.
Except at the very end there when I was completely out of stamina and about to get blasted while I was under half health and almost poisoned. That that's not good greedy. <laughs> that was that was bad greedy. And I did not get punished for it, which was nice. Why did I bother going out of my way to pick that up? Whew. The the somber two right on time. Let's go. So we'll grab the golden seed, we'll pick up the grace near uh, up that hill right there, basically. And then we're going to head to Fire Giant, picking up the golden seed on the way to him as well. Now, I may not exude extreme gremlin energy, but I am a loot goblin, so... Nice. some extreme bullshit we've really just got the run up to fire giant which is not that spooky and Farum. that's it we're done and it's just boss rush city and we don't have any more running segments so who's the boss that's the golem where's the dragon Don't know where the boss is. Boss drops like 100k. That's the reason I was gonna maybe try and kill him. If they were a pretty easy boss. There's not really a reason not to dip in on the more annoying bosses. Somber Bell 3. Irrelevant. Pretty sure I have 1 through 10. But I have infinite ones already, so I guess I don't have the 10. Alright. Up to fire giant.
We're not stopping. We're not making eye contact. We've got the windows up and the doors are locked. We're just going. So you got the Sacred Tear and Golden Seed here, and then Fire Giant. This could be, uh, if not the run, at least a new PB. Because there's no real spooky running section. Well, there's kind of a spooky running section in Ferrum before Godskin Duo. But that's my current PB is Godskin Duo. Damn, something chunky just died to fall damage over there. The Omen King. Jellyfish Shield. Those are both really good items. Jellyfish Shield, not so much for this build, but it's very good for any caster build or weapon build that's not focused on its weapon art and doesn't care about not two-handing. It's very good. Love Wart Bell. Arganthi. Well, he's close to where he should be. Arganthi normally invades you at the uh, little fort before the chain and crossed. Yeah, I'm excited because after we do this run. I'm probably going to start my DLC prep character. Prepping my DLC character. Which is going to be you know, going around and just gathering a shit ton of items. And then just making a character that's so... Ow! Just got fucking body slammed by a rot nipple. Out of here with that. Smithing Bell 3. So we found the Somber Bell, the Smithing Bell, and the Glove Wart Bell, so I think Fire Giant will now have a higher chance of dropping your Great Rune. I mean, not a higher chance, but it's not one of those things, so we have a chance of not getting it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know? But, uh, me and Big Dumb, me, me go fight boss now. Where, where chain for boss? Boss chain here. Me go, me go fight boss. You stay over there, sir. Okay. Fire giant. I don't see a big boy. Oh, I see a medium sized boy. What are you? Is that. Mar uh, it's Margaret or Morgot. Margaret. Alright, well, we have Margaret's Shackle. So. Oh, we didn't use Moog's Shackle. I completely forgot. I think that jump R2 ate the stagger. Oh no, there it is. Okay. That was very rude, sir. Refresh the crab. Alright. Phase two. Oh shit, it's phase two Renala. Okay. Spell Drake. Actually, I should have replaced Dragon Shield instead of that, but it's whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it.
I will get to get close to the boss eventually. So no summon. Okay. Sure. We take those. All right. Good. Well, that's one of the spooky magic damage enemies out of the way. I think the only real... Oh, relax there. I think the only real boss that I'm still worried about is... Probably... Morga, uh, Morgot and Melania. Melania... Morgoth, Melania, and Valiant Gargs. Valiant Gargs the most. I would rather fight Melania than Valiant Gargoyles. In a good arena. Fighting Melania in a closet would suck. Because there's no room to move. Um, but yeah, like, Valiant Gargs or Melania in Gideon's room would be... Ooh. No thank you. But, but I mean, we still have like Gold Free, Godskin Duo, God Free of like the key bosses. Um, trying to think of bosses that have just like insane burst damage out of nowhere. I guess maybe like Deathrite Bird. Snowfield's Deathrite Bird is still in the pool. Um, outside of that, I can't really think of anything too bad. This world and death are you to commit? We, I, I do need to say this though to, to iterate it, even because I don't think I've said it recently. We do not have night bosses randomized into the pool, so there's only the one death right bird. Um, mostly because I didn't want to fight like 15 knights cavalries in a run. It's just that I don't enjoy the boss and it's not fun. It's not a fun fight, it's not challenging, it's just there. So, yeah. Uh, I suppose Lanciax would also be annoying. It's not as bad as Fortisax, but he's still not fun. You know? And there's always the possibility that we just run into a dragon in an arena that breaks. Hello, Crabbo. Oh, oh, they coming. God damn. Decent money. All right. So we're coming up on the spooky running section before Godskin Duo. 
where we're going to jump down and run across the open areas. I might, honestly, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on the bull goat salesman here to bring my poise up higher to make me have less chance of getting knocked down while we're running. I feel like this may be a five head play, but it also could just be completely useless. So I don't know if it's going to change anything. Off bat. Why are you so tanky? Out of here. Okay. Bat cash again. Oh my god. Draconic tree sentinel and enemy is there. Do I have Assassin's Gambit or the Talisman that makes me silent? Okay, well, fuck me, I guess. All right, here we go. Gonna sneak on by here. Go, 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 go. I don't think he heard me. I think we're good. Okay. This is fine. Sure. We did it. Okay. God's gonna do it. While I personally am going to say that the Bull Goat's Talisman was the five head play, um, it didn't wind up mattering. We got a spawner. Right. Field trip! Hey, Renala. Bully the children and get ready to beat up the single mother. Yeah, no, it sounds a lot worse whenever you say it out loud. tied with the PB now. We just need to make it to fucking Malika. Without falling off a ledge. Actually, I wanted to get more mind, but this is fine. More damage is better anyway. Probably. Mind is just convenience. Okay, that enemy is fine. I'm down. Do not go off the ledge. No. I don't care if I get poisoned. I'm going this way, where it's safe. Not down the pillar, where I missed last time and got really salty and threw my controller at my bed.
A rare moment of rage you'll see from me. And even then, not really that ragey. I turned around and threw my controller at a pillow. Fitting that there's a Bofa in Bo in Bo. Yeah, had I not like had I not stopped spamming L2 there when the the siren like jumped up over my head, I very well could have died. Because the <laughs> I was right at the ledge. need to remember to grab the golden seed check up top over here before we leave oh boy ancient dragon squid Ooh. bolt drink plus two is actually really good so if we run into dts or uh placidus axe or lancey axe just slap that bad boy on and we'll be extra tanky to lightning. I think we have one last scary spot to traverse, and that's that little broken building thing that's kind of bridging the gap over an area up here. After that, pretty smooth sailing. Unless we have to go do Placidus Axe or Melania, of course. Those are two very possible things that happen. We also haven't found the Pure Blood Knights medal yet. So we could also have to do Moog at some point. Oh, hello, big squid. I'm gonna... Oh, that was flawless. I was like, I'm just gonna hope you leap over my head and just rolled right underneath him. Hey, oh yeah, brother. Okay, I need you to not hit me through the wall. All right. That was not okay. All right. Malekith then. We'll do Malekith and then probably call it because like I know we're at the end game gauntlet, but well, I don't have to be up until late tomorrow. So you know what? Fuck it. We'll just send it. We'll full send all the way to gold for or all the way to Elder Beast Arena. And if we don't, if we don't get there, then we'll call it after that, because we still have a handful of key item checks to get to. Alright, who's up first? Can't see. Spawner. Onyx Lord. Okay. He gets bullied by R2. <gasps> Brother. I thought he was going to knock me off the ledge. Well, you can get bullied by the L2 now. Fuck you, guy. You ain't standing back up again. The fuck out of my face. Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. Watchdog. With friends. Okay, that's fine. Watchdog and the boys. We can handle Oh, you're right there. Okay. Bruh. Okay. Any 
more? Got one more. I don't think I have enough crystal darts. Oh, I do. I have eight. I guess I could have technically turned the watchdog on them. Oh, fuck off, bro. Just trying to get rid of the little nerd. Yes. Beautiful. Alright, now we can fight the boss. Still minus two great runes, but we do still have Gideon and um, Godfrey Horlu left, so not necessary. Not necessarily making us go to Moquin or Melania. But I mean, at the moment, we don't even need the Pure Blood Knights medal to get to Moguin. We just have consecrated snowfields open. So I suppose that's a thing. You know, I'm, I'm finishing this run tonight. I'm saying it right now. I'm either going to die and the run will end, or I'm going to roll credits and we're going to beat the run. In which case, DLC character prep starts, and I'm very excited for that. Because I want to get so many items. Just all of the items. All of the scrolls, all of the spell books, all of the prayer books, talismans. Maybe not all of the talismans, that's a lot. But we're doing it. What we got? Another spawner. Right. Sure. The dream. Oh no! I actually not necessarily a spawner. To become an lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Grimaldi has high hopes for us that we continue to struggle unto eternity. Ulcerated Tree Spirits. Yep. <laughs> I knew I was going to get hit as soon as the screen started to rumble. Uh, it is... Okay, I rolled right into that. That's on me. I disagree with that shoulder check I just got hit by, but... Oh, it is a putrid one, too. Less than ideal, but it's fine. I want to get over here so that whenever he transitions, I can run down the hallway and not get absolutely fucking blasted. Alright. Oh, you're very dead. Thank you for playing, sir. If you went into New Game Plus, yeah, you don't want to do that. I mean, it won't mess with it per se, but you'll still have to go kill Radon and Moog again in your for in your New Game Plus world, and it's just gonna scale everything up to New Game Plus. So, I honestly, unless you're vehemently opposed to playing a new character, I would just make a new one if you already went into New Game Plus. Unfortunately, my very first character, I did put into New Game Plus, and I was immediately unhappy with my decision. So, 
I could play my Faith character, considering, like, he's a band game, like... I'm gonna pop all the big boys here and see what kind of levels we're working with. So much money in the pocket. Uh, yeah, for the ending achievements. Uh, I mean, if you were gonna play randomizers, I would have tried to dissuade you from doing that because you can get the achievements in randomizer, I believe. One more level. One point of mind. For all the good that will do. Alright, we still got 25 crab. Yep, you got way too much. As expected. Can we peek? Can we get a peek? Oh boy! It's Fire Giant Phase 1. Sure. I mean, it won't be bad. There's no fire breath attack. There's plenty of room for him to roll around, so he's not going to get looped in the endless rolling loop. So, I'll take it. That was super early. Holy fuck, I'm done. May roll again after this? No, okay, we're good. I let him spit out his fire. Oh, that's not the fireball. That's the fireball. Alright, give me that ankle, boy. Hey, you bring that back here. You put that back in the arena. Damn it. Keep your fucking ankle inside the arena, you asshole. Okay. Um. That's probably not a problem. Okay. Tree Sentinel. Warrior. That's fine. Lord knows I have enough practice with Tree Sentinels. Only took me like an hour and a half to beat him when I first played. I love the green turtle talisman. It is the best talisman. Alright. Well. We're going to Mogan. Uh, actually, we do have... Um, Castle Soul. I forgot about that. We should do that first. And then we'll go to Mogwin. Mogwin has three checks in it. Two golden seeds. Well, one golden seed, tree. And then that dude hanging out on the ledge. That is apparently a key item. And then Moog. And then in Halig Tree left, I think we just have Melania? I can't remember if there's a golden seed in Halley Tree or not. 
like in uh, LFAL proper. Uh, notably, we did pick up the Bloodhound Claws, which means we'll have Bloodhound Step to get through the uh, the slowing Rot Swamp that's full of enemies. So... That'll be nice. We can also take a poke in on the boss over here. Just be free money. Worm face? Absolutely not. I ain't getting death blighted. Jump skip? Alright, I jumped. Alright, here we go, here we go. You ready for this skip? Oh, sick skip, dude. That saved so much time. Fuck yeah. Mount Toss Merchant? I did not, actually. I completely forgot about the Mount Toss Merchant. It's a good call. Uh, we'll do Castle Soul first, and then go check that. Yes, you and you you Big Brain. Me and Press. What was that sound? Well, I see a rune bearer over there. That's exciting. Oh! Get off of my neck. Yo, this spear guy is such an asshole. He's been standing outside the range of my lightning, stabbing me in the ass. Okay, so we can get three full combos off in a single FP bar now. That's pretty sick. Having that extra mind. We have 20 mind now with uh, with Godric's active. So that's pretty decent. This way. And at any point, we can drop this, uh, the dog outside and duplicate Melania's Remembrance for an extra 50k. Brother Brown, stop it. Holy fuck, we may have just died to that. If that had hit, that last hit had hit us and triggered madness. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Fuck this guy. Doesn't stagger. Being an asshole. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> Just what we needed. Stone Sword Key. Oh, hi, Bloodbird! Flopping around like an asshole. <gasps> Dude, yeah, what? What are you doing down here? No way he climbed the ladder down. That means he would have had to have fallen. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not happening. Yellow. Thank you, Mr. Giant. I appreciate that. You know, if you told me there was a giant, a blood bird, an onyx lord, a rune bear, and a merchant, and asked me which one was the most annoying to get past, I mean, I, I, I know how annoying the merchants are. Ooh. Can use that. What is that roar? What is that? You know what? For the for the menial amount of extra defenses that gives us, 
Let's get the fashion back. We're going all gold, everything, baby. We don't need the shortcut where we're going. Because we're not allowed to die. What we got? Uh, Leonin Perfumer Duo? Okay. Sell too. Good. Oil shield. Just what I wanted. Debate parlor, not the debate parlor. The grand library. I guess if I wanted to truly min max this run, I should respec here and drop these three five points of dex since we have the five points from Godrix. All right, we're off to Mogwin. <laughs> I really have to pee though, so I'm gonna grab this grace and then we'll do the checks here. So it's so fucking hot in here. Lord. Streaming plus the randomizer makes my computer turn into a fucking space heater. And there are people trying to sleep in this house, so I can't leave my door open for airflow. Cooking, boys. Great jars arsenal. Oh, no thanks. We've already got the endurance. Appreciate that, though. Oh, that's a royal remnant. Another rock for Stallion. Oh boy, the Great Axe. Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me. I guess we have to run back. Honestly, I don't even think it's because of the invader. I'm pretty sure it's because of the uh, like a zombie that was walking after us. But it's fine. The run-up is pretty free because basically nothing aggroed. He says as the Royal Revenant aggroes.
Oh, right. I forgot about the mountaintop merchant. Again. Uh, let's do that. Uh, where's the best grace for that? Probably here. Just go up and around this way. I think. Bridges over here, I believe. Yeah. Just gotta cross the bridge and go down this way. Yes. So when the fuck is there a spirit spring over here? being a thing and it was over here it's like you just go to like down the pathway here to Hoslow's shack and then jump up customer well all right all right there's mobs so we're just missing more gods now All right, back to Moglin. Thank you. I would have done, I would have been combing the map to look for anything but going back to Melania. And maybe seen it, maybe not. Oh boy, it's a party, and of course the rune bear is the aggressive one. All right, we run, and we don't look back. And the big scaling bones is the aggressive one here. Holy fucking shit! Did you see all of this? Abductor virgin, kangaroo dog, dragon, giant, rune bear. I just missing like a red wolf and something else, like an actual fire breathing dragon. Or, you know, any actually aggressive enemies. Now, I'm hard committing to Kangaroo Dog. That's what I've always called him. Whether or not you're correct, I'm ignorantly committing. Oh, is there an issue? Listen to this. <laughs> Antlers. What the hell is glowing blue? What does blue mean? Does everyone glow blue? Okay. We're going to kill Moog first. Only me. It's true. We'll do Moog first. 
And then we'll come back for the other seed check here, if necessary. All right, no Valiant Gargs. Honestly, no Valiant Gargs. I'm probably fine with anything else, even Melania. I'll, fuck, I'll fight Melania, I don't give a fuck. She won't be any harder than in the Halley Tree. That's not true. This is a really bad arena for her because it's really narrow. Not Invisible Assassin. Okay. It's also not Electo, but it's not the Wounded one either, so... Simply press LT. Are oh, you stuck yourself in a corner? I mean, I'll come press L2 in the corner. You stopped doing that? Fight me. There we go. There it is. Alright. Oh, I didn't use the foul foot. I thought about it, but we're too late. It's time. It is time. We'll do a final level up. More strength, more gooder. Uh, one one final level up. Here we go. Pepper your eye holes for some fucking flashbang action. Let's see what we got. This is a good arena for Estelle. Holy, he is tanky. Oh, he didn't stagger. Ah, oh, goddammit. This is gonna hurt. Ugh, okay. That's not bad, honestly. But I think I lost all my stance damage, so that's not great. Huh. Didn't really have time to do anything else trying to get to his head. Alright, this should be meteors or grab. That is meteors. Okay. So this is not Snowfields and stuff. I love that you can just spam roll through that. It doesn't matter if you aim it well or not. Alright, refresh the crab. I don't think we got that off. Hey Aaron. Thanks for the prime set. Appreciate it. Uh, you're just in time to see if we finish this run or not. If this last boss kills the fuck out of me. Oh boy. This should be easy. This should be easy. Cemetery shades are easy. Just don't get grabbed. Forehead. Or bled out. It's really that easy. Alright. Press L2! We pressed L2! Let's go! But thanks for gifting the sub to TY as well. You've... Yet again, continued the trend of gifting more subs than you've been subbed for. <sighs> Much love, brother. And we did it!
We pressed L2. All the way through the game. Deathless. Randomizer. Done. Simply don't die, forehead. That's all there is to it. Ugh. Oh, hitless when? Fucking never, are you kidding me? I am not a full-time streamer. <laughs> and can't stream over a thousand hitless attempts. At a randomizer. Like a no-hit normal run? Easy enough to script, I guess. Maybe not script, but... Much more doable. Oh, man. What a run. That was attempt number seven, I believe? We'll see when we get to the, um, the ending screen. But I gotta, I gotta see this pumpkin head on the throne. Dude, we look so good. I'm so glad we won with the gold legs for the fashion. We look so good. I would have been low-key annoyed if we had the omen legs on. The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall an age of fracture. That is so good. Fucking beautiful. Now I thought about something while that cutscene was playing. I don't think I have ever gone back to the tree after beating the boss. I don't know if I can. I know there's a fire in there. I didn't light it though. Okay, we just can't. Fair enough. I wonder if I had lit the fire in there, though, if I'd be able to teleport back in. Something to try for the next time. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well. Deathless run completed. There we go. Uh, here is the final build. Stormhawk plus 10. MVP of the run. Stormhawk Axe is so broken. Pumpkin Head, obviously. Tree Sentinel Armor. Tree Sentinel Gauntlets. Pants. Warrior Jar Shard. Her Tree Favor plus 1. Green Turtle Talisman. Also MVP of the run. Thank you, Alexander. We appreciate your service. And Dragon Crest plus two. Absolutely phenomenal. Infinite Crab. Also great. Here's our stats. Minus five to everything for our actual levels because of God of Straight Room. That is it. We're done. Uh, so over the next couple weeks, I'll be doing a DLC prep character. Uh, or making a character in preparation for the DLC. So... There will be... It's going to be a more casual run uh, on the vanilla game. Which I'm going to have to figure out how to run the vanilla game again. Um, yeah. But there's going to be a lot of item gathering, a lot more clearing of zones. Um, and I'm just going to pick up a lot of items that I think are going to be useful or you know nice to have for the DLC. So look forward to that. 
if you are also going to be a DLC prepper. Awesome. And I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm looking at my other monitor, and there is a um, faded imprint of Godric's Great Rune on it. <laughs> I think I may have burned my monitor. It's not even that hot, though. I don't know. Let's see. Either way. Uh, as always, take care of yourselves. Stay beautiful. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You know the drill. Short list. Uh, Aaron, thanks again for the resub and the gift sub to The Good Doctor. And I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.